Plucked from the suspended immaterial, from hate and from hunger. Little one, your shell will be vacated for the great lord of the void. breath as a slave to the corporeal, my acolyte, my loyal god. God? You assert that a god exhibits neither shame nor despair, and yet I stand unchanged, a tragic husk with bloodied hands. I surrender my future, the prospect of a family, to carry your poison. You misled me. I renounce your control. You ungrateful dog. Hear me now, Cretan. If my father was chosen for this most virtuous of tasks, then he would never have died so disgracefully and fascinating. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Forgive me for my defiance. What task have you for your loyal guard? Fidelity has always been your greatest quality, Ragnar. I swear to you, my son, all of your shame and guilt, all of your sins, they will collapse into the abyss we all race towards. Share that truth to the world. Share it with the provinces and the valley and the empires of the West. Show them your conviction. Show them the serenity of the void. Excuse me. Hi, hello. You're Connor, correct? Would you like a pistachio? What the hell? Wakey, wakey, warriors! I'm in the mood for feudal violence and food! Can I get a teamwork? Teamwork! Hello, there? Teamwork! Hello? Teamwork! Teamwork! Teamwork. Hey, come on, Thorn. Trolley's not gonna push itself. Oh, carrying all this food is killing my fingers. I need to sit down. Otto, mate, pass me a ginger stick. That should do the trick. Just don't put too much pressure on it. <sighs> Thanks. You know, that's not the only appendage I can help straighten. Okay, thanks, Death. Oh, come on. It's just a joke. Don't take it so hard. Ugh. You always have to make it weird. Next, you're going to tell me all those photos I take of you in the shower aren't for medical purposes. You're so paranoid. No wonder you're single. 
I'm gonna get real with you, Thorn. I have never had tummy tickles this bad before. Tummy what? Maybe it's that mysterious backstory shit I'm really into. Maybe it's that weirdly permanent chin stubble on your delicate baby face. Maybe it's the exceptional lack of intimacy I've suffered trapped for years in this infinite Ikea. Who knows? But I do know, one of these days, I'll wear you down, bitch. And we'll finally be together forever. Like conjoined twins. Uh, but not like blood-related conjoined twins. That's incest. on your mind son you've been sulking at that blasted seat for weeks now we've started calling it the boo-hoo ledge what's the matter it's not important now i may be a serious man but i'm nothing but attuned to my fellow tribesmen come on tell old papa freestanding bathroom cabinet i feel feel like an Egg. Like an egg that hasn't hatched, you know? All the others are out and running around and pecking, chirping, living life. I, I don't know what it is. I just, I just can't hatch. I can't hatch. I've been like this for, it feels like forever, sheltered. Locked up, closed off, alone. What if I did open up and everyone just sees a a gross mess? And what if they hate it? So I just don't hatch? I'm sorry. I told you this wasn't important. I'm sitting here talking about eggs and eggs like some fucking whoa, egg farmer. Whoa, whoa there, Thorn. Calm down. It sounds to me like you have a perpetual need for love and attention, possibly due to a lifetime being deprived from human intimacy. Kinda crazy how, despite your memory loss, your brain still acts upon your deep-seated emotional damage. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Anyway, this is getting uncomfortable, so I'm gonna stand over there. Things couldn't make any less sense. Connor, you shit-lipped whore! Where's the teleporting staple gun? I stand corrected. What is this? It's a drone, Connor, and it was not easy to get approval for. Like those pen-pushing jack-off bureaus couldn't afford it. That voice. It's familiar. And annoying. But my name is not Counter, it's Thorn. Stop fucking around, Connor. Get your disposable ass back to the facility. Connor, do you still have that teleporter? It's very important that you don't lose it. Excuse me, what are you doing in my chair? I live for one darn second and a half, and all of a sudden my vessel is being mutineered by a gang of hooligans. You better not be harassing the kitchenware tribe. They've got enough on their plates already. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm not a disposable counter. I'm not a shit-lipped whore. And I'm not listening to some $50 GoPro drone. I am the Impaled, the Boxborn, the Terror of the Isle de Muerta. I am an Ikean warlord. I was raised in these flat packs. I eat meatballs and drink the free bloody refills of my enemies. And when I die, I will be taken gracefully into the realm of Akunalit. I am Thorn. No, your name is Connor, and you're a glorified fucking crash test dummy. Hey, Connor, while you're in there, could you 
get a couple of executive office chairs since we're apparently understocked. Go flush yourself. Wow, uh, that's a hate crime. Amnesia. Great. Con, uh, Thorn, does the number 3660 mean anything to you? The little black zipper. Some big scary blokes in lab coats use that zipper to turn you into one of those little round frogs for a week. For an experiment. If I recall correctly, that was really upsetting for you, wasn't it? Look at him. He looks like a little scrotum. Spray him with the acid. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't started suppressing memories sooner. We are not doing this. Okay, my turn. Listen, Thorn. This is very important, and I don't want you to take this the wrong way. I'm going to have to ask you to kill yourself. Okay, my turn now. Thorn. I've bookmarked a couple of memory-enhancing maths games on EpicMathsGames.com. Well, as Elder Freestanding always says, heckling drones cometh before the dawn. I shouldn't be expecting any more surprises for the rest of the night. Uh, uh, oh. Huh? Who are- Oh, that guy. Shut up! I'm doing this for the tribe. You're a monster. I won't let you ruin me. I mean, I won't let you ruin this tribe. Stanley? Why are you threatening Thorn with a st- uh, That's not your name, Stanley. I remember everything. God, my life sucks. <laughs> Absolute wanker. We were supposed to be one big family. Why would you do this to your brother? Elder, look there. Thorn is self-assembled again. Just like... Ikea legend! Hopefully they don't misinterpret this. Like I always said, Holy Resurrection cometh before the dawn. That I always How said, do that? Don't, 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 don't. Wait, wait, hold on, hush everyone. He wrote us a message in his own blood. Oh, that's fucking right. He wants us to follow his example of bravery and sacrifice. We must take a leap of faith, and we too will become undying. <laughs> Stan, wait, what the ever-loving fuck are you doing? Sorry, Stanley, but you're kind of a dick. Maybe I should have used more blood. What the? <gasps> Bless you, Thorn. You sacrificed yourself just to catch my frail, shriveled constitution. <sighs> <laughs> All right, good job. Get up on there. We're getting out of here. Are you taking us to the land beyond the parking lot? You know it, big guy. You're a lot heavier than you look, Hutch. That's because I was born with two skeletons inside my body. That is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. And we get to eat pizza, and it's a huge top secret facility. But don't tell anyone I told you. Got it. If I remember correctly, I died in aisle 34,692. God, I missed having a good brain. Is that our escape, Thorn? It sure is. Oh, but my real name's Connor. So why'd they send you into this awful place anyway? Do they hate you or something? <laughs> no, I'm just the closest thing to a field analyst there. <gasps> like an agent? A spy? Uh... Thought you saw the last of me, huh? Well, looks like the pillowcase is on the other pillow! Say goodnight, Canopy Tribe! Who's that? Help 
could ever die. Try to crack my double I can't see what's going on. God, I hope this isn't just a normal staple gun. In my defense, I lost my memory and got, like, wicked good at throwing spears, but I'm really, really sorry about your it's drone. It's okay, Connor. It's okay. Look over there. We found a chair for Dr. Wilson. Oh! You brought home some friends. Would any of you guys like some pistachios? Jesus oh my Christ. god! Is that a no on the pistachios? Oh, Connor. You know, in a weird way... This is exactly how I pictured our future. Hold that thought. Tall boy, can you press your hand up against my temple? <laughs> sure, Thorn. Anything for you, old buddy, old chum. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, yeah. Connor, you'll come back for me, right? This is actually kind of comfortable, like a big flesh snuggie. I, I hope I'm not the closest to wherever the anus oh, is. I think I left my stove on back at the canopy. I can't wait to be let back into normal society. Am I allowed to be concerned yet? Oh, come on. They're not dead. It doesn't count. Ugh. You always have to make it weird. Next, you're going to tell me I'm darkness incarnate, one step away from leveling a small neighborhood. You're so paranoid. No wonder you're single. I cannot wait to hear all of your marvelous IKEA adventures. But first, raise your hand if you need to see a therapist. All right, it appears everything is fully operational. So, I'm human again. Correct. This new bit of hardware is really something. We appreciate you volunteering. Transplanting the human soul is quite the sticky endeavor. All right, Ian. It looks like you're good to go. Are you excited to see your family? God. I hope they remember me. I'm sure they will. Ludwig, come here. Ah, Mr. Stavros, the invention is a huge success. Maybe we can even do something about your situation. Kudos, my friend, but this is of special interest. For the past few weeks, this woman from the Ikea dimension has an interesting medical anomaly. She was particularly fond of our favorite test subject. Hmm, insightful. The site manager will be very grateful for this information. Indeed. I'm gonna tell him first. What? That I'm is that is bullshit. First. I am brain doctor, not you. But the whole time I just felt tired and resented them. Resenting? Resentful? Resentful. I kinda liked being important. So I thought helping them would make me happy, and it did. Until it didn't. It was like that story with the guy and the rock going up the mountain. Uh, Jumanji 2? Oh, Sisyphus. That's the one. Well, sounds to me like you have a perpetual need for love and attention, probably due to a lifetime- Okay, no more psychoanalysis, please. Oh, sorry. But is it really that hard to believe that people would like you even if you weren't useful? You'd be surprised to see how others react when you get to be yourself. I don't want to be myself. Dr. Powers. You've been requesting access to a particular file over the past few weeks. Is that correct? I understand that you've been neglecting your health checks as of late. I think it's in your best interest that you come to my office immediately.
I was right. I was right. I knew it. I was right. And everyone else was wrong. I'm still the hero. (laughs) 